Alright. Okay, so we got a couple trim panels off. Plan for today, day one disassembly. Get everything pulled out, get all these boxes out. Get the doors off, um, see how the electrical looks. Maybe you tackle the heater. We'll see how far we get. But yeah, let's go. So, just wanted to point out a few things, like, everything in these is super, super modular, you just have to pull it apart in the right order, so, this corner here, all it was, is two bolts, one there, one right there, now this whole thing can be pulled out, this entire top literally had four screws, Two there, two there, you disconnect the vent, the whole thing just slides out. This piece here, not even bolted in anymore, this is loose. All I have to do, disconnect down here, and that whole piece will slide out. Super easy guys, don't be just ripping them apart, you can reuse half of this, sell it. Okay, I haven't got to feel much today, mostly because of the ceiling. It was a nightmare to get out. Um, I ended up just cutting it straight down the middle and getting it out that way. I have pulled a lot of wiring already, so this doesn't look like a lot, that's why. Um, I spent probably two or three hours on wiring. Um, now we're trying to get these here cabinets out. And basically, there's not much holding them in, there's like a rail down here, a, a trim rail. Along the top, there's no bolts. There's nothing really down this side. What there is, is two up in here. And then along the bottom here, if you pull away the floor, there's a screw on an angle. Probably, there's like one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, and then one at this end. And that's it, like this. This thing should be ready to come out now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sorry I haven't filmed much. I'll do my best to do a full rundown of the electrical before I put it back together. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, quick update. Um, kitchen, or well, that cabinet is pretty much out. Just gotta drive it over to the bin. I've started tackling the control panel wiring. I would say I'm about 30% done. Um, pulled out a lot, still a lot to pull out. My goal is just to have the essentials for the truck. Um, from that, I'm hoping to get rid of that whole panel, but we'll have to wait and see. I might have to put in some new relays. Basically, from there, we'll run all the wiring along this side. Trim. A lot of these buses, actually, like, I can probably put these down to one bus or even just solder them together. So... I'll keep you guys updated. I will try and do some time-lapse stuff. It is just going to be me messing with wiring most of today. I haven't disconnected any of the lights along the front. So that's why you still see quite a bit there. Honestly, once I get that out, I think this will be a lot less. But yeah. Okay. So most of the electrical's out. All I've got left is probably just to redo these relays, which is for the brake lights, tail lights, all of that sort of stuff. Still a couple of connectors down there i got to trace under the car. Um, looks like flashes, maybe another battery terminal. Uh, got rid of the control panel in the front. Disconnected some of the stuff in there. It's pretty much good to drive now. Um, I do need to drive this car, so unfortunately I can't just leave it all apart. You can see what I've pulled out today. This big control panel here, if... Uh, 
if you're not sure, that basically has nothing to do with the vehicle side of things. So if you uh, just rip all that out on my model, I can't say yours will be the same, but on my model, everything was for the ambulance on that control panel. There was nothing to do with the car. I still have fully functioning brake lights, tail lights, uh, indicators, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, marker lights are all still hooked up. I do still have the front light bar hooked up. As soon as I get the heater unit out, we'll disconnect that. Um, yeah, pretty much the way I did it was I disconnected all the compartment lights and all the door open signals. And I plan on just redoing those. I want to put LEDs in there anyway, so I'll probably put like a strip all the way along the top of each shelf. Um, just a nice little LED strip. And then the side lights, I disconnected all of those. The plan is the white ones, which are the inside ones, I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to put a little square of LEDs in the top there. And then these side ones, I'm going to probably put some like party lights in. I'm thinking maybe we'll do some RGB LEDs in the corner. The backs I'm going to convert all to clear just for backup lights. And then same deal on this side, those will be clear. And then the ones in the corner will be the party lights. The goal is to get the insulation done maybe next weekend. Get that corner cabinet out, get the heater out, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, this is weekend number one. I've got almost everything out. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. I actually thought I would only get the the panels out. I did not expect to get most of the wiring out this weekend. So that's good. We're actually ahead of schedule, I would say. Not sure what to do with that center console panel yet. I might just pull it out. It does have the Ford rev controller unit on the side. So maybe I'll clean that up, mount that to the engine cover, and then uh, just pull that center console out, but yeah. Been pretty lazy on the recording. Sorry guys, I'll try to do better. Uh, today's project is to pull all this out. Um, I did already take all the filters out, took a couple screws out, disconnected all the wiring. This is gonna be real simple. There's the thick cable is what powers the brake lights, tail lights, indicators. So that can be moved up along this side, these relays, and this power block will go up behind that cabinet and then all of these will just run along this side i'm only gonna have to extend about maybe four wires so it's super easy uh that whole bundle will go back through under the cab still got some inverter stuff there that i gotta pull out from the other side but that's all disconnected this box will be the last i'm just using it for storage at the moment and then we'll start cutting into these and that one i'll start cutting into that one and then we'll start doing all the wiring for the new lights that I'm putting in. Insulating and then we'll put some walls and ceiling up. So, yeah. Gonna have to go underneath. It's not what I wanted to do today. Okay, so mine is a wheeled coach. Uh, it's year 2000 E350 Conaline. My air conditioner hooks up right here, right? So I haven't taken them off yet, but my assumption is these valves close. These valves close, all four of these. So you have a feed and a return. Um, basically this will shut off the one to the rear AC unit. This will shut off from the front of the car. So what I've done, I've turned these off. I'm about to crack these. If this isn't the way to seal it, then I'll just, I'll tighten this back up, take it to an AC shop, have them disconnect it, um, take the gas out and disconnect it. As for the coolant lines, all I did was loop them back. So you find which two of the coolant lines, take a piece of the hose that was connecting it to the AC unit and just do a loop 
and make sure you do the clamps up tight and you should be good okay so I was right these uh, little valves here just disconnect the two lines there was like half a second of fluid that came out is literally like one or two drops you can see it actually right there um, most of this fluid is just penetrating fluid so uh, all you do just tighten these make sure they're done up real tight so they don't come loose um, then disconnect these two big nuts and that will disconnect the entire AC side of the rear unit and you'll be good to go just wanted to do an after thought thing so they both disconnected like I said maybe a second or two of gas came out but it definitely shut it off it was nowhere near the the gas that's in the whole system um, this stuff is v still very toxic you don't want to breathe this in so just whatever you do don't sit under here and suck on that one second of fluid crack it walk away for five minutes come back then loosen it all up um, it is really straightforward anyone can do this don't feel like you have to pay two three hundred dollars to get it all disconnected because this is literally all they're gonna do um, I will go buy some caps for these just to cover these little points just so they don't get anything in them um, yeah that's pretty much it guys okay so obviously got that covered out got all that wiring out of that corner once I got those lines disconnected it literally just fell out so um, super easy hardest parts those lines you just saw that um, now I'm onto these things it seems like some of them are bolted in from underneath as well so it's full of snow out there I'm gonna have to wait for a better day to get back underneath because it's too low so okay so quick little update for the end of day well technically day three but Sunday was more of a half day because of the snow um, started cleaning up all this this is completely out all the wiring's out I got the trim piece off of there I'm actually gonna run all of my wiring through here and then insulate over it um, so next up is getting this box cut down probably all the way to the floor on this side and then this side we're just gonna go down to about here somewhere um, the way we can put the bed on top and then it'll be on to tidying up all this wiring running it along the side of the truck and then connecting all these lights to how I want them hooked up and modifying the ones that I'm gonna put the disco lights in um, most of this wiring you can see how little wiring there is now all that's left is the tail lights the brake lights reverse lights indicators and the marker lights in the top corners so real simple um, I'm not gonna have lights in the boxes all I'm gonna have is probably a little strip LED strip along the front of each one that I'll, I'll wire into the original wiring that runs up the side there almost finished this assembly this box will be the last thing I take out uh, just because it's storing all my tools and everything right now it's been really handy so yeah um, that will probably do it for this video thanks for hanging out we will uh, definitely be doing the whole build on this I try not to talk too much shit so if I do start ranting pull me into line put it in the comments that I'm talking shit and I'll sort it out thanks